Good morning, Roger. How are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. It is so fun to um, kind of meet you this way. I haven't met you before, but you know I've known your wife, Krista, mm -hmm. since fifth grade. And I don't know if she told you this, but when she came to Ty Singer Elementary, she came with this long, blonde, beautiful hair all the way down her back. I don't know if you know that, but it kind no. of created a little rivalry with one other, Pam Gaden, who also had hair oh. down. So it was kind of like a constant thing. It was just, it made things interesting, but I love your wife. I'm so glad to have y'all on board. Oh, we're glad to be a part of it. I, um, when y'all first came, y'all served the day after Thanksgiving. Tell me a little bit about that tradition that your family has. Yeah, for the last probably seven or eight years, we, uh, we've we done the operation, uh, what is it, the shoe boxes, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, the Franklin Graham, and we, well, uh, you know, a lot of churches do the villa shoe boxes at the churches, and then either they will take them or someone will pick them up, mm -hmm. Well, we go to the distribution center where all the boxes come together uh, at okay. one facility, and then we pack the shoe boxes into big containers for them to be shipped around the okay. world. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing just how many shoe boxes actually are shipped. You know, and this is just one location in DFW and they're all yeah. over America. And it's just, so it's just something good to do to give back a little bit, you know, cause we're so blessed. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate it. I think that's a very cool thing. I never thought about that where they all go, you know, everybody packs them up, but, you guys came and served here and it was such a blessing you and your daughter and your wife and so that's how we first met you guys and first started to and then with our walk for life you guys came along found out about it on facebook you reached out to us which was very cool and asked how you could support the walk for life so i just wanted to ask you know kind of your thoughts on the pregnancy center and why y'all wanted to support us in that big way well, just, I mean, just the cause and what y'all do. I mean, there's so many, you know, y'all are actually, in my opinion, you're angels on earth. I mean, because I know I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> I'm not an emotional person. I hate it. But anyway, uh, there's just so many people that, you know, that, that are not loved, that have no support, that, that have no one. And to have someone like y'all, and I know there's, Thank the Lord there's many people like you out, out there, sinners, that they have an opportunity for someone to just come in there and be there for them and just, just be a friend or something to support them. Because, you know, there's no telling what kind of, you know, decisions people will tell them to do or, you know, hey, you can't do this, you can't do that. This, you know, who cares what the circumstance was, you know? Every child life, every every opportunity to have life. You know, you always hear about, well, what if it was this situation or that? You know what? It doesn't matter. I mean, that who knows what that child could be, and to have an opportunity to just to give is it's a blessing. And to for Chris and I to be in the situation we in, especially with the way the times are now, we you know our, our jobs are the same. You know, and so. And there's so many people that need help. And but with this organization, I don't know why everybody in the world, I mean, obviously if you're believers, does not support some of this. Oh, wow. there's, it's such I mean, it, you know, I would love to give millions. It would be <laughs> awesome. But uh yeah. just we're just very thankful for people like y'all, you and your staff and all the help and, and everybody that supports you because we need y'all. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying that. And you're absolutely right. We're seeing girls right now that had one just yesterday that had come in. She, everyone in her circle is telling her to abort. Um, and her circumstances dictate that, honestly, that, that you, you know, it's going to be very difficult for you to choose life. But she came in, she had the sonogram, she received encouragement. And to be honest, she went one step past that and went ahead and kept her appointment at the abortion clinic, scheduled an abortion. But then because of what we talked about and everything with her, it weighed on her heavily. And so she prayed for a sign. And do you know that with all the COVID things going on, the abortion clinics got shut down. And so the day of her procedure, she got a call that the clinic was shut down and she, she couldn't get the abortion that day. And so 
she said, God, she told us, I, I asked for a sign. I never expected something like that. But um, she came back to us and that's exactly what she told us was that what a difference it was between here and there. And now that she's chosen life, even though she could get the abortion now, she's going to go ahead and carry. And that's exactly what, like all the things you're saying are true. She, she needs a place to live. She needs so many things. And so we're going to walk with her through that. And thanks to people like you and the success of our events, we're able to do that. So thank you for being a part of it. We oh yeah. I mean, it's so like, much. You, yeah. And like you just said, I mean, you're just there for support because some mm -hmm. people have none. All they're getting is negativity. Right. So, Everybody that's feeding into them is telling them a different thing and they're confused. And uh, so, so it's yeah, good. Right. And like you just said, you know, everybody's complaining about this bio terrible, but look, you know, you see a little, little black and there's no telling the blessings we're all going to see when this is over. I yeah. Mean, it's so very cool. So very cool to see him yeah. move. But tell me one, as we close, um, you're with Atlas Insurance. How could people find you, Roger, if they wanted to, um, to give you a call? Well, I have a website they can go to. It's, uh, you know, you know atlasinsagency.com. Atlas Inch Agency, Atlas INS Agency .com. No, the website is Atlas Insurance Agency. Okay. Okay. All right. And, but, uh, you know, and I have a Facebook page, it's Atlas Insurance Agency. Uh, you know, they can reach out that way. Well, after talking mm -hmm. with you, I think we're going to give you a call. I, okay. I think you're great. I, I'm so glad to be partnering with you. Oh, so. I'm, hey, this is, a <laughs> this is a life count commitment, and I just pray that it can get better. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> have a good rest of the day and oh, we will be in touch. Thank you so much. Thank oh, you. Wait, before I hang up, I have to ask you one more thing. Which backpack are you going for? The camo, the yellow one, or the picante? Do you even well, know about you don't even know about the backpacks? Well, I will get in touch well, with you. Well, I don't know that. what that last one is. Okay. Well, I'm gonna send it to you. I'll send you pictures. Okay. Well, good okay. luck with everything. And I uh, I wish we could have the walk but hey i'm sure it'll be the you know we're gonna walk virtually we're gonna walk virtually so okay. i'll get you all that information too thank you so much roger all right thank you joanne all right bye-bye bye-bye